Hello, ladies and gents. My name is Thomas, and I'm very excited to be here today to present to you our new library, Contemporary Solist Cello. It's an exceptionally detailed and intimate library performed by virtuoso cellist Danny Keane. For those of you who don't know Mr. Keane, he's a regular face on the London session scene. His rich and varied career has seen him collaborate with some of the world's most respected and groundbreaking artists. Danny is well known for pushing the boundaries of performance in every project he is part of. Contemporary solist cello includes a vast array of articulations and presets, including true legato, sustains, spiccato, pizzicato, ricochet, tremolo, collegno, as well as a wide range of extended techniques. This include arpeggio crossings, warp sustains, harmonic glissandos, harmonic wavers, and many, many more. All recorded with multiple mic perspectives, covering close, mid, far mixes, as well as a dedicated mix created by our in-house recording engineer. This enables you to find the perfect balance using traditional film score perspectives. For this video, we will focus on the sounds of the instrument. For more information on how the interface works, check out the technical walkthrough. Okay, so now let's dive right in and hear what the library has to offer. We'll start with the legato. Next, the sustains. We have some great shorts such as Picado, Pizzicato, and Ricochets. We have a nice aggressive tremolo, which has a wonderful raw quality. Thank you. 
Let's take this opportunity to show off the proximity fader. It allows us to smoothly glide through all the microphone perspectives that we have. This is close mono, close stereo, mid, and far. We also have the mix perspective, which has a slightly more saturated sound and really helps to cut it through the mix. You can use it in conjunction with the rest of the mics or as a standalone. And now let's check out some of the more adventurous articulations. <laughs> Here we have the arpeggio crossings. We recorded major and minor across three inversions. These are great for recreating energetic and lifelike performances. This is minor, inversion one. Inversion two. And three. And this is major, in version one. In version two. And three. Next we have warp sustains. These have a great dark and raw sound with a lot of motion. Next we have circular bowings. This is similar to a warp sustains whereby they contain a lot of motion, but they are much more subtle and less aggressive. Next up are harmonic falls. These create a really great effect when playing chords. Also try playing with the detune knob to create a cool half speed effect. Next are the harmonic wavers. These are similar to the falls, but instead of falling down from the target note, Danny quickly glides either side of it to create a sort of shivering effect. Continuing our exploration into harmonics, next we have harmonic glissandos. Take a listen, it's great. These also sound really interesting at half speed. Seagull screeches is a fantastic technique which produces a sound which can be great for transitional effects or for creepy and scary moments. <coughs> Next. 
Next, we have our crescendos and decrescendos. With both of these patches, if you play lightly, you will get a shorter crescendo, and if you play harder, you will get a longer one. Lastly, we have some body taps, where Danny would strike various parts of the cello with his hand to create percussive sounds. Each patch comes with a total of 7 snapshots to get you started. These are designed presets which have been warped and mangled using the effects built into our interface. To access design snapshots, simply load the patch and click the little arrow here to view the drop down menu to select a snapshot. Of course you should create your own snapshots. Adjust the parameters on the interface until you found the sound that you like, then click a little icon here, name it and save it.
And there you have it, contemporary soloist cello performed by virtuoso Danny Keane. As you just witnessed, this library has a huge array of fascinating sounds and textures which are perfect for modern cinematic scoring and even sound design. Alright, so head over to soniccinema.com where you can find more information about the library, spread the word about this awesome instrument, make cool sounds, thanks for watching, and see you all soon.